Hey, good afternoon guys. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, today I'm making this video to talk about how to get started racing game chickens from, from the start, from scratch. I noticed a lot of people are getting into this into this hobby. They're interested in racing game birds. They look at them. I mean, it's I don't see why not. I don't blame them. They're beautiful chickens, beautiful birds. It's a beautiful breed. And preserving this breed, it's 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 really important. We got to keep history alive, you know. You can't get rid of some something just because you you disagree with their with their with their history. It's a beautiful chicken. It's a beautiful bird. So to get started on this, I highly recommend you first of all before you even think about buying some chickens, before you even buy any chickens, I highly recommend you get in their house and ready. Um, you can buy them. I like I like I like these Mexican pens. They're real practical. You have a door, right? You can fold them. They're 40 by 40 by 40. So that means 40 wide, 40. The height is 40 and the depth is 40. So that's a pretty good size for you to single mate. Uh, single mates. Do some single mating. Single mating meaning a rooster and a hen. Um, secondly, you're going to need a nesting box. I like this five gallon buckets. I cut up I cut this up here 12 by 12. I mean 12 12 inches long and six inches in height. That's enough space for them to get that's enough enough room for the chicken to get in there and lay her eggs. She'll feel secure and then just position it to where it's facing the center of the pen. That way you won't get any water any rain high winds and rain and then it'll get wet but also you want to drill some holes at the bottom drill plenty of holes just in case you do get some water it'll seep right through them put some hay in there and then you're good to go i like to keep the lid on it because like i said sometimes you'll have some windy windy days or windy rainy days and this will really help you i like to put it up here high up because he keeps he keeps uh let's say rats or maybe uh water from going in there it keeps the eggs a lot cleaner let me show you how i did this one up here this is pretty much how you want it to look okay you put some wood at the bottom that way you could be able to put some some uh their bedding they'll be able to scratch in there keep themselves clean get yourself a two by four as a roosting the roosting post smooth out the edges and then it's going to be very comfortable for their for their feet uh when you buy these containers they typically they typically come with their with their water container and their feed container but if not you can just make them out of gatorade bottles or anything you can find anything anything you can find laying around just make sure you put the the, the uh if you if you cut a bo bottle like a gatorade make sure you cut it on one side and, and the open side face it towards the kennel towards that way they could be able to reach for their feed and uh, water won't get all in there keep the lid on it too on your Gatorade bottles anyways next thing you're gonna need okay the next thing you're gonna need is the the animals the birds <laughs> and once you got your house in ready then you can start looking into purchasing your chickens because if you don't um you know you're gonna struggle i know this is when you see a chicken or when you a lot, you know a lot of people start buying their chickens and they don't even have housing for it make sure you get the housing ready and then you can you can uh start buying your chickens uh fine I, I recommend local breeders you can also get them from from some of the big time breeders uh you go out there pick them out and you're gonna be paying 17 1700 1200 700 900 just which is a good price for 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 chickens because it's their property they can do whatever they want with them um, once you get a good breed that you like that you're satisfied that you're willing to spend your time and money on because uh, believe me it's gonna take some time and it's gonna it's gonna you're gonna have to invest some money in them um, you know Check a video. I have a video uh, which which brings me to feed. I have this video on how you can make a 40 pound bag last you for a month and a half. 
uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description below well actually I'm gonna put it on the comments below and it will be the first comment make sure you check that out and it's that's gonna help you on how how you can go about how much to feed your chickens and how you can make a 40 pound bag last you a month and a half and this particular bag that I talk about in that video is Neutrina uh, Nature Wise Neutri Neutrina n n what is it Nature Wise it's a Neutrina Neutrina Nature Wise all flock Neutrina it's a it's a complete complete feed uh, check that out and that 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 should help you out on on how much you're gonna be spending on feed and give you an idea of how much you're gonna be spending on feed per bird so I already did all the math I made it easy all you got to do is watch it it's kind of long but enjoy <laughs> uh, once you got your birds you know go ahead and start breeding them pan them together give them some water every day clean fresh water every day uh, food every day whether it's twice a day I like doing it twice a day I break that down too on my on my channel check check the videos out it's, uh, you'll you'll find some of that some of that info pretty useful all right next thing you're gonna start looking into is once you start breeding them and once this the chicken starts laying eggs the hen starts laying eggs you're gonna look into what you're gonna do with those eggs uh, you can you can go either route you want on this you can game chickens they're very broody they're really good moms they tend to get broody after 12 to 14 eggs and then they'll they'll lay on them they'll get broody broody means they'll make those clucking noises they'll be ready to start hatching their chicks so they'll you know they'll lay they'll incubate their eggs for for 21 days about 21 days and then the chicks will pop out you can go that route with the hens I think it's a lot slower but it's a lot easier because the hen will do will do all the work you don't have to do anything uh, she'll take care of them she'll she'll uh, teach them how to eat teach them how to drink water she'll keep them warm like I said and uh, she'll do all the work but if you're thinking about using an incubator I recommend getting a uh, what is that nurture right nurture right 360 that's a really good incubator it's a small incubator it holds 22 eggs it's around 180 bucks at tractor supply or Amazon and it's it's worth it because it'll last you a long time and the hatchability on those incubators is really high or unless you want to spend on some of those cabinet incubators you, th that'll be your choice but if you're barely starting I just recommend you getting one of those smaller ones it'll really help you a lot and it's uh, pretty easy to use and I mean if it breaks down you're not gonna spend hundreds of dollars on on parts you could just get a new one you know but they are very reliable and they're very durable so yeah I recommend those uh, if you choose to go the incubator route you are gonna need housing for the chicks I'm gonna post a video this 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 link is gonna be on the description of this video check that out I I have a little bit of instructions it's more like a video showing you how uh, how my my chick brooder looks and what type of uh, wire mesh I use and all that good stuff. Click on it, check that out. That's gonna help you with the housing, with the chicks housing. Um, other than that, you're gonna have to get into the breeding. Once you get the first batch, you're gonna have to get into the breeding and I'm gonna save that for another video, guys. Uh, make sure you stay tuned. I will be putting a video out in, uh, once a week or twice a week talking about breeding, breeding practices, breeding breeding ways, breeding uh, strategies, um, how to get started with two, or how to get started with a trio, or two trios, so check that out, uh, I'm going to start small for the first timers, and and then work my way up, uh, starting small for the first timers, that way, because I remember when I first started, I had a lot of questions, and I had a lot of, uh, I, I seen these videos all over the place, and it, it's hard to go from here to there so I, I'm gonna try to provide as much information as I can and make a couple of playlists so check check them out check my videos out but feel free to check them out feel free to browse through them and enjoy uh, hit the bell button guys subscribe and you'll be getting some notifications on those new videos coming out thanks for watching you have a nice day